Hey, hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to discuss about higher order function in Swift. And again in higher order function, I'm going to focus only on two uh, higher order function in this uh, session. One is map and the other one is compact map. And the most important question that is asked in any interview on this higher order function is that in most of the cases they will ask you what is map, what is compact map, what is the difference between map and compact map, in which scenarios we can you know, use map over compact map or compact map over map and if someone wants to further you know, like a little complicate discussion then the interviewer can also ask you that let's assume that you don't have map function or you don't have compact map function then how will you implement your own map and own compact map function so we are also going to make our own map and compact map function in this lesson okay so let's first read the definition of map so what is does it says that it returns an array containing the results of mapping the given closer over the sequence element so one thing what we are getting it clear that maps is basically works on a collection so it is used to loop over a collection and apply the same operation to each element in that collection now that collection can be array it can be a set it can be a dictionary now let's see uh, some common scenario where we use map now before that let's see the map function so if you see here that it takes a transform uh, this is the first parameter and if you see about the transform what this this parameter is basically is a mapping closer transform accepts an element of this sequence as its parameter and returns a transfer value of the same or of a different type so here basically you will be telling that what operation you want to perform on the array element or the collection element okay now let's see a very common example even in here that if you have array and then what do you want to do you want to iterate over that array so let's take the same example so if i just copy and paste it here so here i have this array and what we are trying to achieve we are trying to form one more array where all this are lower case so one common example without if you don't want to use this uh, higher order function you can iterate into the array right like i can write something like for item in cast and then what we can do here we can take a new array which will be again of type of a string and then we can just convert this item here manually like let uh, new item equals to item dot lower guest and then you can append into your array so that's if you see that this this requires so many things that you need to do like you are writing one two three four line of code but the better way using map is that so what actually you are doing here that you are iterating into this array and then you are modifying that element and the same thing what we read in the definition of map returns an array containing the result of mapping the given closer over the sequence element now here you can iterate over the array element and then this dollar zero will give you the element the actual element of that particular array and then whatever you want to do you can do like in this case i'm just converting this to lowercase if you want you can do uppercase or you can convert integer to string string to integer that all depends on your huge cases now let's see some more uh, like complex use cases of map so i'll just uh, okay before that i'll just print it one time so that you can see the value so you can see that both have the same output okay so let me just delete this code and here what i have done i have taken a struct of person and then i have a person's array okay now let's that in some scenario you want array with just the name of the person okay we are going to do you can write like let names equals to and then persons dot and then map okay now as we did that map is used to iterate over the array let me just print this name so names and you can see that the name is of type of a string array and see how simple you can get a, a string array or you can say a property array from a object array very easily using the map function okay now let's say that if you have a scenario where you just want 
all the email id okay but now if you see that in this case the email id have only with the first person and then next person the third person don't have any email id so i just i don't want the third item into my array now if you see that instead of name if i write email so how my uh, array will be there it will have two as a value and the final as nil but this nil doesn't make any sense so how can we get rid of this nil now for this what we have we have something called compact map now, if you see the definition of compact map, it returns an array containing the non-nil results of calling the given transformation with each element of the sequence. So, what basically compact map does when you apply this on a uh, collection type that it will remove the non-nil value. Okay. Now, in this case, if I just replace this map with compact map, and if you run it again, now in this case you can see that it returns you a string array without this optional variable now let's come to the third part of the interview question that is that what if this function don't exist and then you have to write your own implementation of this map and the compact map now if you see this is the shift uh, actual uh, map definition function where you can see that this function takes a transform parameter and then returns you a array of a generic object okay so we'll do something similar so what i'm going to do i'm just going to copy this function and then uh, as i told that this high order function is applicable on collection so i'll just write extension of collection so that i can call it from uh, all my array dictionary and sets and then i define my function here okay as simple as it is then I'll just call this as uh, my map instead of map and then take a array. Now, if you see here also, finally they are returning an array after iterating into the for loop. So, here let me take results equals to type of t. And then what you have to do, you have to iterate into the element. So, for item in self which is a collection type and it's very simple you have to just append what you have to append basically the transform because this this is the closer part that we are passing that okay we want to uh, do uh, just form a property array or you want to do some sort of calculation whatever you pass so append and then you can just pass try and transform and transform will take what it will take each element one by one okay and this is basically your item okay that says and finally we have to return the results looks very simple right now let me try to perform the same um, operation that we performed on the persons so first thing is that i need to get a name array but this time instead of using map i will be using my map so let names equals to persons dot this time my map okay and then let's perform the same operation so dollar zero dot name and let's print this So you can see that it prints the perfect result that what we got with using the actual map function. Now the compact map is again very similar. So persons dot compact map and if you see the function definition, so it takes the same transform argument, but this time it throws you a optional uh, element instead of having the actual element. Okay so let me just copy and paste this function and call it as my compact map okay and this time here instead of throws what it will do it will do a optional variable that's simple as it is okay so as you can see here that the moment i gave optional it is throwing you error that this item this array basically is not an optional array this is an, this requires always a value so we have to do a simple check that only if the value is there that means if late value equals to 
this part if it returns you the value then only you will add it into your array okay and what this will do if the value is nil that means it will not come in this if late block and that value will not be added into your array and that's the reason that when we use compact map this part doesn't gave you any proper object and we had the array only with the email with a at the rate b.com we have the same value so i can just change it to b at the rate b.com so now let me just use my compact map and then what i'm going to write the same thing dollar zero dot email okay just call it as emails and let me print it again so now you can see that this removes the nil value and it gives me the email address having just the proper data so that way how we can see that we can define our own map and compact map function they are not very difficult please do subscribe the channel so if you have not subscribed the channel please do subscribe it thanks for watching thank you